Today I'm going to share a quick tip on how to find coolant leaks in a vehicle. If you have ever had a car that continues to lose coolant, it may start overheating, it may not, but you notice that uh, the radiator keeps getting low, keep adding coolant, and you can't find a wet spot on the ground, you know how frustrating it can be to try to find one. But what you can do is you can go to an auto parts store and you can rent a pressure tester. Now this pressure tester came from O'Reilly. It's got various adapters. It has the pump. Allows you to pump pressure into the coolant system and to make any leaks come out that you may have. Now instead of spending all that money on a coolant leak that you may never have, you go into O'Reilly. This particular one costs $166 with tax. You go ahead and you pay for it, they give it to you, they give you 48 hours to use it, and then when you return it within the 48 hours, they refund the entire $166 to you, so you really can't beat it. So the good news is, if you rent it and you can't find a leak, I mean you pressure test, pressure test, pressure test, and you never find a leak, which can happen sometimes, you're not out any money. Now the reason why you would want a pressure test is because while you're driving the vehicle, pressure goes up cap has a rating on it this one is 16 psi so when you're running the vehicle pressure is going to go up fluid is going to be moving and that's likely when you're going to see a leak problem is you're driving down the road when things warm up cracks can get bigger as you're driving the engine gets hot it could be a spot that sprays on the exhaust manifold or somewhere on top of the engine and it readily evaporates so even if your car is running in the driveway and you look at it you still may not be able to find the leak very well and it's pretty difficult to look for a leak or look for anything on a real hot engine. Not to mention a little bit dangerous with a fan and a belt spinning around. Now when the engine is cold, uh, a lot of times it won't leak. Now you can still try that. So the first thing you want to do is look when it's cold. Engine just sitting there. You can look on the concrete or if you have a grass driveway, put a piece of cardboard underneath. See where any drops may come from. Then try running it, run it up and down the road. Come back, see if there's any leaks. If you can't see any leaks that way, then you're going to have to do a pressure test. So the first thing you want to do is find the correct adapter for your vehicle. You've already checked, this one works. You can take your old radiator cap, measure it, looks about right. You want to install the adapter just like you do the radiator cap. Grab the pump with the radiator cap looking device, put it on the adapter. like that. This handle is loose but the cap is tight all the way on just like a radiator cap. Grab the pump start putting pressure into the system. Now if your pressure is not climbing up the pressure gauge then you know if something is wrong here you don't have something on there correctly or you have a huge leak. I mean if you want to can't bring it up the pressure you better start looking around you know something's spraying. We'll take this up to 16 PSI, which is what's rated for the cap on this radiator. Now you may want to give it a few minutes for the pressure to stabilize. Once it does, we're right on 16 PSI. You want to let it sit for a little while and see the pressure drops. If it drops, then you know you've got a leak. So after about 10 minutes, I closer to 15 minutes, look back at it and we barely have any drop in uh, pressure. Now this engine is cold. It could be that whatever is leaking opens up whenever it gets hot. Um, so what you want to do is you can leave it running, take the radiator cap, back off very carefully, very slowly. You could even put gloves on, you can put a rag or a big towel over top of it so if something does blow out, it's not going to blow in your face. Take it off and then um, turn the engine off. You can pressure test with it hot. When you're done with the pressure test, you can just turn the lever, ease the pressure off, remove the top cap, remove the adapter. Send it back to the store and get your money back. And that's how you do it. You can't beat free. So all you gotta do is go to the auto parts store, get your pressure tester, pay for it, bring it back within the same day or the next day, they give you your money back. You cannot beat free. I and mean, even if you don't wanna fix it yourself, you can at least say, put the pressure tester on it, look, say, hey, my radiator's leaking, then take it to a mechanic and see what they say, see what they find. If they say it's something completely different, you say, no, I think it's the radiator. Have them do a pressure test, have them do a UV dye test, whichever way they want to do it. But then at least you'll go into the repair uh, 
uh, informed and knowing what's wrong with your vehicle. This is Wes telling you to keep your money in your pocket by doing it yourself. Have a great day.